welcome to Ace Designs 107 and this is going to be the tutorial that we're going to be making on Monday's UI Design Tutorials. And this one is going to show you how you can make the little buttons that you see in this keypad. And if you want to use the uh, tutorial PSD files, you can find them in the description below. They're free of charge, you can download them for free and you can, instead of making doing this tutorial, you can just download the file and use the buttons for you much you want anyway guys i hope that you do enjoy the video make sure you like the video and subscribe for more daily content and i'll see you guys soon hi right, guys welcome to the tutorial and this is what the button actually looks like with all the effects applied to it and it's actually really simple guys so all you have to do is make two circles and apply layer styles to them. So that's it. I have my phone here with all the pictures of the layer styles that I've made previously. So these guys, because you just, just do have to remember that I can't remember all those digits in one of my tiny little brain of mine. So unfortunately I just can't. So it's gonna be a bit systematic this tutorial, but I can't really do that any other way. So I'm gonna go to file new, make the width 1000, 1000 as the height in 1000. So it's gonna be a perfect square. I'm gonna make the resolution 100% and 100 and we're going to press ok on that so we're going to make the foreground color 363636 we're going to press ok on that we're going to grab our bucket tool by pressing g on a keyboard holding down our click and letting go while we have the bucket tool selected in our hand and then we're going to smash that bucket tool to tip it over on the document and make the background color 363636 now we're going to go to a new layer make a new layer press ctrl shift and we'll just press that icon down there and we're going to fill that layer with our foreground color the same way that we did with our bucket tool. Then we're going to go to filter, noise, add noise. We're going to make the amount 265.52, Galashian, monochromatic. Press OK. We're going to go to the layer style, overlay. We're going to make the opacity 15. And then we're going to go to right click, blending options, pattern overlay, not pattern overlay. Gradient overlay, excuse me. We're gonna make it to color to transparent. We're gonna make the color white. Make the color white. I don't like blacks in this country. Sorry, I love blacks. I'm joking. I have really good friends that are blacks. We're gonna press OK on that. We're gonna go to style, radial. And then we are gonna leave all the other settings like that. Press OK. And then what are we gonna do is we're gonna see that we have that. Beautiful. So now we are going to grab our ellipse tool by holding down on the shape tool right holding our click and then letting go once we have lips tool hold your shift key and drag out our circle like that perfect we're gonna close that circle and what are we gonna do with the circles make some really cool things so we're gonna first of all center this on our document by pressing ctrl a hit our v on our keyboard second and fifth icon up on our toolbar press ctrl d to deselect that right click and do blending options go to bevel and boss and we're gonna apply these settings guys so we're going to make the style out of bevel, make the depth 441, we're going to make the size 10, going to make it 10 like that, 0, perfect, going to make it 90 for that, 90 for the angle, 60 for the altitude, going to make the opacity 100% down here, and make this one 75 make sure that's just on 75 make sure you have these settings guys it's really important that you do have these exact same settings then i'm going to duplicate this ellipse tool by pressing ctrl j on a keyboard or right clicking duplicate layer and we're going to go to right click on this and we're going to go to clear layer styles and go to right click and do blending options and we're going to apply these blending options so we're first going to go to our bevel and boss make the depth to 251 size of it to 8 I'm gonna make the soften of it to 0 make sure that it's on 90 60 and make sure the screen is on 40 and the opacity is on 100 okay sweet okay so now we're gonna add an inner shadow to this second layer and we are going to make sure that the blending mode is on multiply opacity is on 100% the distance is on 8, the size is on 13, and we have done our inner shadow. Now we're going to go to our gradient overlay, make sure that we're just going to go from a color to transparency. We're going to make sure that the color is on white like before, 
press OK on that. And now we're going to go to our opacity and go 58. And we are also going to go to the scale and make that 100. Make sure it's linear, align with layer. Right, sweet. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a drop shadow. And with this drop shadow, we are going to apply these settings. 75 multiply 5050. Okay, sweet. Now this gradient overlay might be a bit too strong for you, so you can turn down the opacity. 34 is fine like that. Um, I just think 54 was a bit too strong, but it didn't turn out that strong in this one. So I'm going to right click and just change the gradient overlay to like 16 or 17 like that. And bam, bam, we really have our button. So these are the final button, and that's how you really make your button now. As you can see, this one has like an indent. So to do this, I'm not really sure how I did that. Okay, so I forgot to add one effect to this and I really apologize. So go back to our second layer, go to blending options, and we are going to add our inner glow. So for this, we're going to add the settings opacity 15. It's going to make the noise 100. So we're going to crank up that noise right up. And we're going to also make the size 5 choke 0% and also range 50 and jitter. And we're going to change the blending mode to overlay. Sweet. Now guys, obviously with this one, it's in more dense. So to do that, we'll, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our first ellipse. We'll go to blending options, go to our bevel and boss. And we're going to change the depth more. So we're going to change the depth like this. Crank it right up. And, you know, that's going to give us our indent. So I'm going to do 470. And I'm also going to make the size, you know, I'm going to leave the size 10 and make the soften a bit stronger because I don't want, I don't want to give that impression that the button is too strong. Press OK like that. So guys, um, here is the button. And if you do want the button for download, free download, the download link will be in the description below. And all you have to do is right click the copy layer styles and paste it onto a layer. So guys, that is how you make an awesome UI button, um, just really follow all these steps, add the little changes that I made to the layer styles and that's all you want. Now to add um, uh, text, all you have to do is get our text tool and click on the document, make sure it's on the white. And we're going to make sure we're going to type in 5 on our keyboard and then we're also going to type in, uh, actually I'm just going to type on a 2. And we're going to type in A, B, C. And we're going to move this ABC by pressing Ctrl T on the keyboard, sh shifting, changing the size by holding shift, make sure it saves in ratio. And we're also going to move this 2 down. And we're going to apply these small layer styles, they aren't too much. So we're going to select both of them by holding shift or Ctrl on the keyboard, press Ctrl G to group those. Right click, go to blending options, now we're going to go to a drop shadow, we're going to add a small drop shadow. On this. I'm going to just really mess around with the settings. Alright, sweet. Now we're going to go to inner shadow. I'm going to make the opacity really small. Make the size really small. We don't want something too big. Like that. And you can go to outer glow and make the glow like a dark. And that gives that outer like, drop shadow even more. That's sweet and then we have added our text and you have nothing really else to add you can also add like a small line with the line tool and like like that you get the point stroke it white stroke it who know what like that and there you've got your line and that's how you make your keys guys if you guys would like to support me in any sort of way make sure you do hit that like button and hit that subscribe button hitting that subscribe button shows you support it's for free also and i supply daily uploads and yeah teach you how to become better in graphics design also guys if you would like to um have any questions or inquiries about this video or any future videos that you would like to see on this channel make sure to let me know in the description below because that really lets in the comment section below because that helps me um decide what type of videos i want to see later on this later on in the production of this channel and i'll be coming out tomorrow with a text effect tutorial 1 p.m australian eastern time and i'll see you guys later bye bye subscribe
Пока мне рушишь, я не купил кроссовки, купил тебе подарок, несу букет ромашек, между аллеей и арок, в руках белый медведь улыбается прохожим, а ты орешь, как сука, пивая ногти в кожу, давай гоняй наши... Welcome to Ace Designs 107, it is Cinema 40 Friday, and today I'm going to show you how to make this displacement tutorial in Cinema 40. As you can see, the effect is really cool, and obviously if you know how to do a little bit of animation in Cinema 40, um, you can use this.